we're going to draw a ribbon using this path as the basis. First, we'll duplicate the path, and then in the copy, grab the path and holding the Option or Alt key down, drag it a little distance away. This is two separate paths at the moment, but if we click on one end and then click on the same end of the other path, we join it together to make a single one. Turn that into a selection, and on the new layer, fill this with a mid-tone grey, and deselect. Now we can see some points where the ribbon doesn't quite work. If we zoom in, it's easy to fix these. Use the lasso tool and hold the Option or Alt key down to turn it into the polygonal lasso. Draw across the peak, back through the centre, and then fill with the grey. Here's the ribbon where I filled in all those peaks and troughs. Now switch to the Burn tool and paint some diagonal lines across this to give a sense of basic shading. Now for the shadows underneath the curve. Load up the original path again, and this time using the, a selection tool, not the move tool, drag it so that it almost, but not quite, lines up with the right hand edge of our ribbon. And let's hide that selection. We can now use the Burn tool again to shade underneath the ribbon in the areas where it rolls over on top of itself. Now inverse the selection so that everything else is selected and hide again. Switch to the Dodge tool and now paint some highlights on top. Because we didn't select right to the edge, we can now see a faint edge to the ribbon, and that gives it a sense of three-dimensionality. Finally, let's add some colour to this using the Hue and Saturation dialog. Check the Colorize button and raise the saturation to get a good strong red. And there we go.